Hey, good afternoon. Today, we're going to install a shallow well. It's going to take me a few days, but we've got some pipe. Uh, three different types of pipe we're going to be installing or using. And uh, any power that's needed will come from the Big Red Solar Pavilion. And our drill site is just over here by this ladder. First, we have to dig a hole, get get a hole started. Then we're going to put some four inch pipe down in that hole. So I've got a shovel to get through any surface roots and then a post hole digger to get down as far as I can, which would be, you know, maybe four or five feet maximum. And uh, then we'll install a four inch pipe. That four inch pipe is to, you know, help just guide the rest of the system down through the ground, down 30 feet. And also to keep any surface roots out and away from uh, our new well. You will need to cut some drill teeth on the insertion end of the four inch pipe. I'm making them about one and a quarter to one and a half inches long by making V cuts with a saw. Alright, still got about another 10 inches showing on the post hole diggers, but the, the water's just filling up inside of there and the mud's collapsing, or the sand, just collapsing. So it's just filling itself up. I don't think I can get any deeper with those. So let's go ahead and install this piece of pipe. Well, this is a good start and it's a four inch pipe once again that we have coming down in here to our well hole that we're beginning the well for drilling four inch piece of pipe I've got it down in there about maybe four feet Just need a couple of screws just to make it so I can torque on this piece of pipe and move it downwards as the teeth cut through the sand. I might have to put a little bar in here. We'll see what we got going. Oh yeah, it's going right down. Using the leverage of a shovel or length of pipe, twist back and forth on the four inch pipe T. Cutting through sand uh, plus downward pressure will sink your 10 foot section of pipe within a couple of minutes. Yeah, that's looking real good. I've got about a foot of pipe sticking up out of the ground. Come back here with fresh in the morning for stage two, installing some two inch pipe. And then stage three, Installing the one inch pipe plus a well point at the bottom of the well here for drawing up water. All right, just to recap day one, we installed a four inch piece of pipe, a uh, 10 foot section. I cut some teeth at the end of the four inch pipe, so I was able to just wiggle it down in there. And today we're going to be using a mini jetter. You can kind of see what it does here. It's got one jet that is blowing sand away from it and three jets that pull the mini jetter down through the pipe. Right, I'm going to go ahead and stick this two inch pipe in. You can see there's been some teeth that have been put on it and it's a 20 foot section. Hoping I can get down the first 10 feet here. And then just work the other 10 feet down through the sand. Oh, 
So yeah, a good 10 feet. First 10 feet, no problem. And we'll use the pressure washer, the mini jetter, to help us get this down through there, an additional 10 feet. You want to be sure to insert the mini jetter all the way down as far as it'll go here without power. The mini jetter helps to clear sand from the inside of the two inch drill shaft. Use a pipe wrench to twist the shaft. Use your foot and a little weight to move the shaft downward through the sand. The total drill time for 10 foot was about five minutes. It takes a couple of minutes to master this technique, but it's important just to watch and see how this is done. The longer your pipe wrench, the easier it is to twist with your foot and push downward on the pipe at the same time. installed uh, another section of pipe two inch another 10 foot so we're down 20 and I've used nice two inch couplings and Ote glue primer as well as uh, the cement itself letting that dry up some My technique for uh, drilling uh, and moving this pipe downward through the sand pretty much mastered here after 20 feet. This 10 foot section of pipe took about seven to eight minutes just to move it down five or six feet. This was just above the water pocket and uh, appeared to be a shoal layer of sand. The last three feet of pipe went through like butter. This was an indicator that the shaft is down inside a large pocket of water. I don't know if you could tell but that last three feet or so four feet it just went right down through there I was having a lot of problems about 20 feet down to about 25 I'm gonna push it down there just a little bit more I noticed that the sands looking a lot more white as well you can see the difference here this is from the surface and this is what we have now so I'm pretty sure I'm down inside the water table there for groundwater So I came back over to, actually Chris came over and brought me back over here. He's down 30 feet and he's ready to put together the well point and the check bow. He's doing that right now. He's going to slide that down there and then he's going to pull this 30 feet of pipe up out of here. 
some interesting notes see how white his sand is he's really down there i mean he's he's down into such good area that there's so much water down there look at that that is beautiful just beautiful can you see the difference of the sand you see that over there that's kind of got a lot of peat moss it's like red not clay but it's got peat moss, peat moss mixed into it and over here really white sand so he knows and we know that this is down into a big pocket of water down there So what we've got, we've got inch and a quarter as the well point, put a coupling on there. Next we're going to put an adapter on here, is we need to go back to one inch, and that's the size of the check valve. All these parts are available, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace, wherever you want to go. Nice. Then we'll put a little piece of one inch in there. Some primer, some glue. And what we're doing is putting the one inch because we adapted from inch and a quarter down to one inch. Just twist it in there since it's only got primer and glue on one side, it should be fine. Now we're ready to go ahead and put on the, the adapter. This is just like the sump pump, you guys, a male threaded inch and a half adapter, but this is one inch. So male threaded one inch adapter. You've heard me say that so many times. Perfect. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put some pipe thread on there. That way we are for certain that there's no leaking of this. And you might say, well, you know, why do you have to have the pipe thread on there? Well, we don't wanna lose the water. We don't wanna have any leaks because it would lose the prime of the pump. So we definitely need to make sure that it's watertight on this fitting. So I took the fittings off, but here's that arrow. And if you look up in this, you want to be able to push that down. If you can push that down, you know you've got the correct end down in the ground. Look for that arrow. Make sure that the arrow is facing up out of the ground or towards the surface. Now he's ready to put on the check valve. And remember, he was talking about the arrow. Double check it. There's the arrows. And we'll screw that on there hand tight. And then he can go ahead and use the wrench and really tighten that down a little bit. Tighten that up nicely. Now we're ready to put the next piece on. Real important not to cross thread these when you're working plastic to brass. Usually they go in quite nice, but if it goes cross threaded, then you're gonna have a problem, have to pull it all apart, maybe try it again. Then the same thing, we just wanna get a couple of wrenches on there so you can tighten it up. This is the most important fitting on this assembly. It has to be really watertight from this point upwards. So now we're going to add 10 more feet and the reason that we just do these 10 foot sections is because it's easy for even though i'm out here it's easy for one person to control so he'll sink this down in and then he can put another piece on and sink that in until you go as deep as you want to go be sure to glue all your fittings stick it together and you're ready to go I always twist it and hold it for a couple seconds. Perfect. And that one's set. So we've got the well point. And the reason they call it a well point is because of that point. And normally you would drive this down into the, to the sand or the clay, whatever you're working on. But we just used the jetter and we did, did away with all that heavy stuff of pounding. And you can see all the little slits on here. You see them all on there? All the perforations. It's almost like a fine screen and all the water that is along the sides, you know, in the ground for 
10, 15 feet are gonna get sucked into these little perforations all the way up and the pump's gonna lift it up and you've got water. Remember, using the jetter clears all of the sand, or the vast majority of the sand, out of the two inch pipe. This makes it very easy to install the one inch pipe as well as remove the two inch drill shaft after insertion of the one inch pipe. All right, looked like I had good movement on the two inch pipe. Remember that's down there 30 feet. Insert our whirl point. Insert the well point. And just, you know, make sure that your brass fittings and whatever fittings you have go right down through that two inch. And you can see I've got, must be at a, there we go, kind of caught up on where I have a coupling there down 10 feet. It's getting exciting. Not long and we'll have well water here on the property. that went all the way down into the coupling. Just gonna let that set up for a moment and then we'll continue it down through the two inch. All right, so take off my safety here. Let this thing go ahead and go down into the well. All right, so you can see how easy this goes down now. That's into the water table. Like I said, once it got past 25 feet, this thing just went through like butter. So we're ready to pull that two inch off of there. I'm just putting this safety on while I get ready. So I'm down in there 25 feet and it's sinking like butter. So I'm gonna put on an additional piece here just to be on the safe side, I don't want this thing to go down to where I can't grab it while I'm taking out the two inch. You could leave the two inch in, but it might interfere with suction, bringing in water into the uh, perforated area, the well point. So we're gonna be on the safe side and pull that out. Let that set up for a second. Go 
come your way. Yeah, go really quick when you see the bottom. Nice. So we pulled off the two inch drill shaft and now we've got the well point down in there and it's solid at the bottom, looking good. So maybe tomorrow he'll get that pump out and hook this up. Be sure to watch how to install a shallow well pump right here on Atlantic Drain.